you know, it's what you make of it. It really is. It's it's really what's worth promoting the, the the cost versus benefit aspect of it. Because in your line of work, you have a few different generations of users. You know, you have I've been doing this for 50 years. I will not use anything but pen and paper, and don't dare put a keyboard in front of me. If you want someone to type it in, you're, I'm going to give them that piece of paper. You're all kind of smiling, oh, that's Mark. You dealt with those people. I used to work in education. I had teachers that were like that. Um, you know, but it's really once you show them that, wow, you know what? What's taking you 20 minutes to do? I just didn't two because I just let it record and convert it to text, and I literally had to go in and just change it, you know, edit a couple of words. How, how would that work for you? Oh, okay, you know, so it really is, and the concept of, of workflow is, yeah, everything living on individual drives, everything here kind of shifts into a cloud format. So everything's up there, you know, you can create, you know, depending, using something like Dropbox or Mobi iDisk or certain forms, certain, um, you know, things live, photos, reference materials, and it's just this virtual hard drive, it's secure, it's in the sky, it's there, you know, and things can live there, and I can go to there, I can log in, I can access, you know, this forum, I can, you know, maybe there's a certain format that your stories have to be in, and if someone's new, and they don't, you know, they haven't been doing it like you guys have been doing it for a while, they tend to forget, oh, I can just access it, oh, okay, I need name, address, here's the body, here's the background, you know, things along those lines. So it, it changes that dynamic of everything's physical. Okay? Your stuff lives up in the cloud now, you know? And you know what, yeah, where I would take a story and put it on a flash drive and hand it to somebody or burn it to a CD and give it to somebody. Now I'm emailing. Everything's going via email. I can, you know, it's simple. I don't have to get up and physically mail it or walk it over to your desk and say, here's my story, go to it. Or physically, you know, um, you know go through many different, you know, email the email, it comes back, it's done, here's my finish, I'm going to upload the story. Um, taking it from, you know, copying, even, you know, we did it with the body of text. I have my body of text, I go to the heritage.com, the town upload news. site, yeah. for town news. Um, I can copy, paste in the body of my story, I can save it, so then, yeah, if I want to add photos or anything like that, again, I'm emailing off to, you know, you may have to change how... You know what, each person is individual for the photos and everything else. You know what, you kind of designate somebody now. You know what, your script responsibility is, you're going to kind of hang out in the office, people are going to email you photos, and you're uploading. Especially you for know. a big breaking story. Yeah, for a big breaking news, things of that nature. That's your, that's where you're, you're living by your laptop. Stay, you know, stay on the network. I'm taking photos, I'm emailing them to you, and then you need to upload them. Once they're on the site, I can access them from there and drop them into the store. Is just getting them directly there right now is a challenge. It's one of the, I don't want to say drawbacks, but the limitations of the iPad. Is it going to be like that? I don't think so. I think once they update this to the 4.0 software, you're going to see a little bit more um, access in that regard. So.